Hi folks, welcome back to Bee Mills Farm. So let's chat about these guys. These are, they're both Holsteins, bull calves. Uh, they're not, they haven't been castrated yet, but they will be. They are, he, this black one here, he's a couple days old, maybe three days old. And he's a couple days older than that. So they're still very young. They're bottle babies still. Um, so how this came about is basically you take it. He will not eat on his own. If I put the bottle in the rack for this one, he'll eat it. Not him. He needs to have me feed it to him. Um, so, the Dexters, they're not happening for a while. And it's nobody's fault that it's not happening. It's just purely, at this point, a financial decision. Um... It's just gonna cost so much money and take so long to get a return on a purebred Dexter herd that it's just not really a smart move for me to make right now. Now, I do want Dexters in the future, but it's gonna have to be something that I just slowly, slowly, slowly work into because that bull calf so the bull calf has already been re not returned. I never took took placement of it, but um, I'm getting a refund for it and everything. And they're totally fine with it. But he was $2,800. So that's one animal and that's not an animal I'm eating. Now, obviously the herd sire is very, very important to the quality of your herd. So that's why you pay the big bucks for a good bull like that. But again, that's just one animal. Now I gotta find a registered heifer or cow. They're anywhere from fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars a piece. So you know, there's almost five grand for two animals, and I don't even have an animal that I'm gonna grow to eat yet. Um, you know, if you buy a steer, you're paying crazy money for a steer. <clears throat> so, Dexter's for now, we're gonna have to wait. Unfortunately, like I said, it's just a purely financial decision. <clears throat> the last thing I wanna do is get into, you know, I wouldn't really be taking on debt, but I would definitely be hurting my bank account by uh, taking on the Dexter's. So, that leads to these guys. I'm still trying to feed you. So they come off a dairy, not too far from me. And dairies obviously are not in the bull business or steer business. They want heifers and, and cows, that's basically it. You know, they, 
a uh, dairy may keep a couple steers back for themselves just to feed feed the crew or whatever but for the most part they're just trying to get rid of steers as, or bulls as quick as possible because every day they're on the farm they're using up milk costing them money if they're using a uh, supplement or something so they just want them gone and that wanting them gone price is very 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 good You can get a flock of chickens, or for the same price, a small flock of chicken, by the way, or for the same price, you can get one of these guys. So, I mean, just, you can buy these guys with the change you have in your pocket almost. So, the reason I'm doing this, I know Holsteins are not, <clears throat> in the public eye they're not a common beef animal but they I mean this this animal here is made out of beef and 30% of the beef in this country comes from Holsteins now not just bulls retired milk cows or whatever get ground up into ground beef you guys are something else so, so it's not like, everyone thinks each animal just has a purpose. You know, a Holstein's a dairy animal. Well, it's a very good dairy animal, but they're also made out of beef and they have really, really good beef. Um, with that, you want more? Now, the way I'm gonna feed these guys is going to be the controversial part. I'm not going to 100% grass feed, grass finish these guys because they, from what the research I've done, they don't marble very well on just grass. Um, if you're trying to finish them in 18 months or so, um, and by the way, neither does Angus. I, I've seen a lot of grass-fed, grass-finished, you know, 100% grass, organic Angus. And, you know, you're just getting big pieces of venison is all. Which is fine and it's good. But, personally, I'm a big fan of, big fan of some grain-fed beef. Cause I like, I like a lot of fat in my beef. So I'm not going to just feed lot these guys. I know that's a, a rough, a rough phrase feed lot, but, um, I am going to have them in that corral over there with as much corn as they can eat in a day with hay also. And that being said, I will also let them out to pasture every once in a while. Another reason I can't really do grass-fed, grass-finished beef right now is because my pastures are all goldenrod. So, you know, you can only feed, you, you can't really grow an animal on goldenrod, not even a goat. So, these guys are going to provide meat, obviously. They are going to be up in that goldenrod pasture, helping me convert that pasture to pasture. Um, and it'll be, I think it'll be a fun experiment to see. <clears throat> My plan is to get a couple batches of these guys so that I can do some grain and hay, some, you know, just vary their diets a little bit. Leave, a li leave some on pasture a little longer, feed some a little more grain, a little less pasture, um, and then see what kind of grow times and stuff I can get out of them. These, these guys are just, uh, I don't wanna talk about them like they're a throwaway item, but they're just so inexpensive and a good, a good source for meat. I mean, 
I, I personally live in heavy dairy country and you know, I never even gave it a thought what happens to all the, all the male calves that are born, but, um, they basically just give them away. So this could be a very, uh, very special little market, low input cost to begin with. And, uh, you know, some, it might be a good way to raise some inexpensive beef, but that'll all be, uh, uh, project that we'll, we'll see together. So you guys will be along for the ride. They'll be along for the ride. And the only downfall obviously is that you got to bottle feed them cause they don't keep them on, on their mother until they're weaned. Cause they, they don't want to, uh, you know, literally consume the profits. So they get pulled away and bottle fed right from the beginning. So I think this will be a fun project. The pigs, by the way, are doing very, very well. They're not a hundred percent, but they are all back and, and I'm really happy with how they're, they're doing. So I think we're out of the woods with them. Um, for now, I'm just going to keep, you know, the basic, what I've been doing with them and then really start to form a plan for these guys and future, future Holstein steers. So as always, I appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. Keep sharing, liking, um, hopefully this will bring some more interesting content to the channel. I know I'm really excited about it. I've been a cattleman for a couple days now and I'm just in love with it. So I'm really excited to, to, uh, work with these guys. So until next time. Oh, by the way, I have a trial run of, uh, merch in the works. It's officially in the works. Now I just need to figure out how to distribute it, which before I even get to that point, I want it actually in my possession to make sure it's good quality stuff. And then, you know, I can show you guys. And if you guys think it's cool, then I can open up the, the shipment possibility. So until next time, keep farming. We'll see you later.